Welcome to The Joy of Music. Today, we bring you a special presentation from one of the world's most beautiful countries, the sights and sounds of Switzerland. Featuring as hostess, Diane Bish, the first lady of the organ. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Diane Bish. Praise ye the Lord. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet, with the psaltery and harp. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. We want to welcome you today to the joy of music as we visit one of the most beautiful countries in the world, Switzerland. Switzerland is a country with not only beautiful sights, mountains such as the Jungfrau, but also beautiful music. And we want to share with you today the many spectacular sights and sounds of Switzerland. Our musical journey begins on the shores of Lake Lucerne, where on the grounds of one of Switzerland's most beautiful estates, we play the music of Mozart.
As we travel through Switzerland, we pass through many small villages, nestled along in the Alpine mountains. Every Sunday morning, the bells of the quaint rustic churches begin to peal, inviting the townspeople to worship. Praise ye the Lord! Praise ye the Lord from the heavens! Praise Him in the heights! Praise Him, ye heavens of heavens, and ye waters that be above the heavens! Let them praise the name of the Lord, for He commanded, and they were created. Praise the Lord from the earth, fire and hail, snow and vapor, stormy wind fulfilling His word, mountains and all hills, fruitful trees and all cedars, both young men and maidens, old men and children. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for His name alone is excellent. His glory is above the earth and heaven. Switzerland is not only a country of beautiful music and lakes and flowers, but also of some of the highest and most beautiful mountains in the world. We're now in Lauterbrunnen, which is up the valley from Interlaken. Interlaken is the beautiful Swiss village between two lakes. And we'd like for you to join us as we go up the mountain on the train to Wangen and then on up the Jungfrau. The Lord exalteth the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints. O oh, praise ye the Lord. Before we continue with our climb up to the Jungfrau, we return to the shores of Lake Lucerne, where we are treated to the traditional sights and sounds of Switzerland. The most unique instrument, of course, to the Swiss Alps is the Alp horn. Along with the Swiss flag thrower. The Alphorn is an instrument that's been around for over 400 years and can be heard across the mountains for over 10 kilometers, not only calling the cows but bringing messages of all kinds to people. Let's listen now to the beautiful melodies of the Alphorn.
the Lord from the earth, beasts and all cattle, a scripture which calls us to the lighter music of Switzerland. Everywhere we find the cows, each with his own individual bell, certainly a symphony of the meadows. I love those cows and the musical sounds of those beautiful bells ringing throughout the mountain air. But when I saw that bull hiding behind the tree, I knew it was time to leave. From the music of the cowbells, we go to music of celebration. We want to drop in on a very special occasion, the 45th wedding anniversary of a happy Swiss couple, complete with yodelers, band, and a real baby pig, the Swiss emblem of good luck. From the 45th wedding anniversary celebration to the greatest celebration of all, that of knowing and worshiping the Savior of the world. Here in St. Gallen, Switzerland, the great tower bells and organ call all those who hear to enter into communion with the living God. Switzerland is a country that has provided great moral and spiritual influence to the world. That influence started back in the year 612 when the Irish monk Gaul came to this very spot and started this church, which has become one of the most beautiful Rococo churches in all of Europe. We can hear in the background the bells of the two monumental towers which stand at the front of the cathedral. We continue now with our train ride up to the mighty Jungfrau. Switzerland is a country known for its beautiful meadows as well as its mountains. As we come to a higher elevation, we see the villages in the background and the beautiful trees, the cows, and also the cozy little chateaus and chalets as they sit in the meadows. As we go from Lauterbrunnen to Wengen, which is almost the halfway point to the Jungfrau Yoke, we pass the timberline and come up toward the glaciers and the snow.
Before completing our train ride up to the Jungfrau, we want to visit another incredible site of Switzerland, a famous fortress cathedral in Sion, Switzerland, where we perform on the oldest playable organ in the world. This 11th century church is situated on the top of a mountain, and the only way to arrive there is to walk. We have waited a long time to see the priceless art treasures and play this incredible 14th century organ. O oh God, Our Help in Ages Past is one of the greatest hymns in the history of our Christian faith. I am now in one of the oldest cathedrals in Switzerland, built in the 11th and 12th centuries, and am playing the oldest playable organ in the world. I would like to play now this great hymn, O oh God, Our Help in Ages Past, which reminds us of our great past and history. On the ancient organ here in the Cathedral of Valer in Sion, Switzerland, we have many beautiful little sounds. I'm going to play for you now three flute clocks by Joseph Haydn. Back in the days of Haydn, there were little musical clocks, and in these clocks were found tiny wooden flute pipes, just like we have in this beautiful organ. On the hour and the half hour, they would play melodies written for them by the greatest composers of that time. These are Three Flute Clocks by Joseph Haydn.
I'm standing now in the Jungfrau Yoke, which is one of the highest points in Switzerland. In front of me is the Jungfrau, over 13,000 feet high. Behind me is the Eiger Mountain, and to the left is the Monk. Also to the left, we see the Great Glacier, which runs down many miles. mountains, the Jungfrau, the Eiger, and the Monk, are over 13,000 feet, and even now we are standing above the clouds. As I'm speaking now, you can actually hear an avalanche on the Eiger mountain over to my right. Also, far in the background, you can see people climbing, walking through the snow. They almost look like ants but they are many miles off, probably mountain climbers. Today on the Joy of Music, you have been listening to music from Switzerland. And while listening to that music, you have been enjoying some of the beautiful and spectacular sights that are such a part of this country. It is so easy to realize the majesty and creation of God as we look around us in this beautiful country. Thank you for being with us, and we look forward to seeing you again next week. These have been the sights and sounds of Switzerland. We hope that you have enjoyed this special presentation on the joy of music with the First Lady of the Organ, Diane Bish, on location in beautiful Switzerland.